Especially because Mouth grabs physical armor at 13 and then he has 65 armor. Makes Illidan not do so much damage to him. Uh, Ghostland, even in my in my experience, even Diamond or Master Uthers, half the time they don't even pick Guardian of Ancient Kings. So I wouldn't say that the top picks from mid-season Brawl are also a top indicator of what you should be playing at Master GM. But if you can get good at them, then yes, they are an indication of the best heroes of the game. Of course, pro players will know the best. Um, cursed Hollow. I will take Mouth if I can this time. Where is he? It's alphabetical. Let's sort by XP. So what do I ban? Uh, maybe Uther. I can go Abba or I can go Mouth. Depends what they ban. Just played Ragnaros against Malthael, didn't feel threatened at all. Probably... Probably it's because... Uh, he wasn't threatening. Death is beyond your reach. Mouth has so few skins still. Dang. And only one voice line? Oh, hey, they don't show things that you don't own anymore. Yeah, Arthas is missing, although I haven't unlocked him. Malthea, all the voice lines, all the skins I don't have. It's a bug. Is it only on Malthea? There is always hope. Genji is nice. I don't mind Rexar. Isa. Hey Tom Moby, thanks for the ten dollars in bits, man. Can we get a glimpse of Logan during queue? Of course. Logan. Hey. I will fight to my last breath. It's a nice dogo. Kind of weird to have the Rhaegar voice line on Rexar. I thought we just got Rhaegar. So Rexar, Genji, Malthael, Falstad, Ariel. Mm. Probably I want to remove Gul'dan. Pairs up really well with Ariel and Horrify can be very damaging to me. Yeah, this would work, Mouth Artanis. Not really uh, the normal picks. We already have Rexar that makes it far outside of the ordinary. But together they fill enough of a front line to say that you don't need one traditional tank. Why is Leyline Seal steel boss and Void Prison does not? Because Leyline Seal travels past an area and says that hero time stop, that hero time stop. Whereas Void Prison is a complete no-go zone for allied heroes and enemy heroes and mercs and caps and so on. Leyline is also easier to counterplay. You can Leyline steal a boss if everyone stands on it and they get ley lined but if someone chooses to just not stand on the point you ley line it then he moves on it within a second you don't steal it so it's much easier to counterplay balloon grant us strength uh cassia kalthas interesting triple quadruple backline Quadruple backland. Wood. Have you tried Malthael plus Tassadar? 
No, but I don't see any special synergy for it. How did you train him to listen to you? I want a dog too, but I'm afraid he's going to cause too much trouble. Uh, when you have a dog, you should see every day of your life as training him. Want to play. The youth is the most important, but it never truly stops. Because dogs are bred to be eternal children. That's what we think is cute about them. And that's what makes them keep trying to push the boundaries and play and so on. Also, you need to not... Uh, you need to close off the part of you that says Oh my god, he really wants this. He looks so cute. I should make him happy I should give him anything he wants because if you do that, they're gonna become quite pushy The effect is very keenly felt in almost all humans and I feel it too But you need to kind of ignore it. You need to do what's good for him and you in the long run Treat your dog as well as you can but also don't say like, oh, he wants it, therefore I will give it. Don't make yourself extremely uncomfortable. The best thing you can do for your dog is to be a happy owner as well. We're starting this thing in for the rest, seconds. I must say that this dog was not a difficult dog. He's a golden retriever, which is generally a little bit easier race already. And he was handpicked for me as an inexperienced dog owner. He's a very comfortable, confident dog, which means he doesn't cause a lot of trouble. I'm gonna go for Fear the Reaper. Also, remember that 50% of everything you read on the internet about dogs is wrong. They all copy each other's info, so even if you find 10 sources, that doesn't make it true. Hey Grubby, my Dalmatian just had six puppies with a black lab on Father's Day. That's amazing. So cute. One more thing. When you're thinking of getting a dog, never say, I'm going to get a puppy. Never think it. Don't teach your children that you're going to get a puppy. That is not what you're getting. You're getting a dog. And that's a big commitment. I've seen it on YouTube. It's like, can we get a puppy? Or children saying we're gonna get a puppy i think you should teach children that you're getting a dog because the puppy is half a year to one and a half year and the dog is lifelong i mean it's lifelong anyway Clever escape. <laughs> Choose a talent. Now the good thing is they never got the Not siege gun. <laughs> I can't believe that hook though. <laughs> Got the tribute, no no real need to stay around. Stay out of the stitches hook. We're on slow on rotation, so I'll try to go top. Yeah, 
If only I had on a pale horse right now. Genji, soak the mid, brah. Misplay. Misha don't need no help. We just lost like five minions he could have had. And that's already counting his slow rotation. Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? That's a tough tribute to go for. Maybe I stay. I'll just stay and play. Soul collected. Uh, I'll get the slow. Bonus damage of percentage not so useful against the four backline team. Another siege camp. Who's bottom? We're very far behind on XP. He's being sarcastic, but he's making big mistakes for so. I don't think I said it that badly. To top could be more. Still no one bot. I think that would have possibly been construed as incendiary. I think it's a smart delete. Gather tribute or face my curse. The choice is simple. <laughs> Lol. Five man bot and they give up the trib. Yeah, exactly. He's gonna gust? No. See? You won my favorite. They five man Let your wanna kill me. Oh nice flip! My I mean, it was, uh, I think it was great to stop the false start rotate. He should have gusted immediately. He was trying to be a bit too fancy. But, uh, yeah. They want to kill, they lose the tribute. I'm okay with that. I could join the team fight, but I think wave clear is way too important during curse. We're already losing all of our XP. Kills aren't worth as much. We do get pushed, but in the end, they will out soak us. I see many of them bought to defend the boss for, in fact. Now 
My curse subsides. Okay, now we got some XP. Good stuff. And second boss. Great. Uh, does he have put okay, putrid, not gorge? I could have lived there if I picked ethereal existence faster um, and uh, got my flip off. A bit better positioning and it could have been great. But it's still worth it because our first time player killed the keep. Not as good as my first time playing but still pretty respectable. XD strike. I grow tired. The whole map is blue. I like it. Gather tribute. Earn my favor. This tribute may be tough. Positional. You need to stay in the minion wave against Stitches, so that you can't get ganked. I've got the movement speed and clever escapes ready, so there's no real way that I get picked off here and killed. And it looks like they're giving the tribute. Would love to kill the wall. keep going down in XP compared to them because uh, we don't have enough off lane so the only one that can do so safely is Genji everyone else can get caught by Gust or, and false supply but he prefers to stick with the team which is another kind of safety I guess but it means that uh, our minion XP right now is 19k there's 26k of course that's the false up effect as well but Genji can do that almost as well as false up that's just impressive, like, they have 25% more XP from lane. And, like, as for mercs, we have double, but it's not worth as much. And then they also killed us more. And that's partly because of my action right here. Face my curse. They're so the close to 16. And this is also a boss tribute. Like a boss plus tribute thing. I feel like we need one more wave to be able to compete, but I don't think we'll have that long. Thanks. We may even get the... LOL? Ready, that was just to boost my quest finally black harvest so they might get the boss now since we only have rexar and mouth and that boss might get them second boss and or next tribute hmm a talent. i guess we can't The boss will get a wall and a fort. 
I don't think we can contest it. If we do, we give up literally everything else on the map. I get Memento Mori. Boss AFK push does hurt, but we would stand to lose much more if we go for it. They know we're trapping here or coming for here because uh, obviously they don't see us defend. That is a terrible location for trip. Whatever, we don't need the tribute though. Blocks, body blocks. Oh man. Oh. Lol. Oh man, the body blocks. Whose announcer is this? Uh, this is Sergeant Hammer. Ah, uh, I killed the keep. But we did get the trib. Nice E. Yeah, I, I fired at bottom. So they might get the boss now. Wait, they got the tribute. Why did I say we got the tribute? They got it. That's a roughie. Maybe... Hmm. And now we have to fight 20. And boss. Yeah, we can't stop boss if they started it. They didn't though. I grew tired. Okay. Everything is coming to a conclusion. They're level 20. They're boss. The tribute. That is rough. They have double merc camp push. At least we've got one. Our core will die in like two minutes by itself. Looks like we might just get the. Uh... Okay, that, that helps a lot. Well done. Your enemies shall be weakened. Let them fall before you. <laughs> Double whammy. Well, you're dead. Don't take it personal. Patrick. Patrick. We took a lot of chain bomb damage there. Oh my god. Well, at least they cursed. God. Fap, lol, fap. Killed us. Probably the worst curse of the entire world ever. We won't get any push with it. And they get bonus XP from it. Look alive! Our core is under attack! Let the curse end until someone wins my favor once more, that is. Oh, he just gave them boss, I think. I hope no hook or gust, but I fear the worst. Wait, he has Nexus Frenzy. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. That was terrible. The from the uh, from all the help we tried to give to the solo boss, to the curse we got, couldn't be any worse. I would be surprised if we didn't lose the game right now. We need twenty. Hmm. <laughs> We have like no damage or something. Oh man, we've lost a fort. Now they take our boss and then it's over. If 
If he if he dies, that would help a lot. Oh yeah, baby. That's what we needed. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, I'm gonna wait with this one. Maybe I get final curtain. Maybe I get no one can stop death. Because you never know if you might need it for winning the game, basically, or not losing. I think I want. I do want to go final curtain. It gives a better team fight. But let's wait and see until I arrive. Yeah, the fight looks winnable. I'll take it. That's not bad. Bring this for to ruin. It's only fast that, of course, five v one. He will end it. We did it, I think. Oh yeah, the E doesn't do anything to buildings. Man, we just lose and get our ass kicked the whole game until Faustad died to Genji and Rexar. And the thing is, because he took Nexus Frenzy, I think he was overconfident, the Falstad. He took Nexus Frenzy. That's why he didn't get away. Had he had Epic Mount, he would have got away and they would have probably won the game. Just going by how the rest of the game went. Definitely an ugly win, but you can't have beautiful comebacks without ugly mistakes. So there you go. 12 to 20. Out soaked, out leveled, out pushed. And we get a chest. Now here's the thing, right? A lot of people look at that and say, you can literally come back anytime in Heroes of the Storm. And that's true. And that is a good thing. Now that doesn't mean that the winning team didn't do something to deserve the loss. Why is Falstad solo soaking mid lane near our keep at level 22 versus 19 and a half? What good could that possibly do him? It's because people do things that don't make any sense that's why you can come back. By him pushing that lane, even if we aren't there, it pushes his minion closer to our keep, which allows us to more safely soak our minions that we want to kill without being extended in the lane. So not only did he take a big risk getting picked off, but he was actively helping us. He don't need to go from level 22.0 to 22.2. .2. We needed to go from 19 to 20. And he was helping us. And he got picked off. And he took a win more talent like Nexus Frenzy instead of Epic Mount. And that's what I'm trying to always explain people. Yes, you can get a comeback late game despite losing the whole game. And some people use that as an argument to say Heroes of the Storm has too many comebacks. Six and a half out of ten. But only if the winning team does automated nonsense. They don't look at their actions and say, let's critique whether this is the right thing to do or not. It happens at every level of play, uh, this kind of silly mistake. And it should be an interesting challenge to try and iron them out from your gameplay. Epic. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> he even exploded the egg in the bushes for an extra slime. 